Hi, my name is Janis Amakivis and I work for Novozymes Technical Service. Today I'm at Gea in Germany to show you how you can make a great tasting old drink. We will walk you through each step of the process. First, we have the raw uh, material handling and mixing, followed by the decanting, formulation, USC treatment, filling and packaging. So let's get started. First of all, you need to choose the raw material of preference. So either oat grains or groats or flakes or flour. Then if you start with flour, uh, add water and then go through uh, the milling uh, step. Uh, and finally, uh, move on to what we call the liquefaction. In the liquefaction stage, you need to use ban. Ban is an enzyme that would break down the starch and reduce the viscosity of, of the drink. Then you need to choose uh, which enzyme uh, you prefer for the sacrification stage, so to adjust the sweetness of the drink. There are two choices, either finger meal that will create mainly maltose, or uh, amylase AG that will create more glucose. And then we will have the decanting, which is very important as we want to separate as good as possible the liquid stream that would eventually go into the drink and the solid stream that will go into side products. Decanting centrifuge is a horizontal separator, specially built for separating of liquid and solid uh, fractions, mainly with a very high solid content. Yeah, most important parameters when it comes to decanting is uh, the temperature, the viscosity of the product, the inflammation which was done before and the main setup of the decanter. So what speed we have at the decanter, how many uh, differential speed we have at the scroll to take out the solids, what for back pressure we have and especially what enzyme is used for having a low viscosity or for having a special product application. The differences in the type of decanter we use in juice or in plant-based applications is mainly the difference in hygienic design. So what type of decanter, what surfaces we have, um, especially in hygienic design applications, we have a surface of uh, 0.8 micron roughness. We have more spray nozzles. We have a dedicated CIP program to get the decanter clean to get it stable in, in CIP and to also to get a constant uh, CIP effectiveness. In the formulation we would combine different raw materials together with the base that we produced previously to a ready to drink product. In the formulation we have influence on the final drink. Salt will support the aroma of the final drink Oil will also support the, the aroma and the flavor and the texture of the final drink. We have to be careful in the formulation that the mixing before the UHG process is done properly. So big bubbles of oil will disturb um, the UHG process as well as air. We have to be careful that air is not incorporated into the drink during the formulation process. The homogenization takes part in the UHG. During this process, we take care that the oil gets finely distributed in the product. This will have an effect on the texture and the mouthfeel of the final drink. The heat treatment is required to inactivate additional enzymes and also to keep the product microbiological stable. So our customers ask us to produce a product stable with a long shelf life this can only be achieved by a perfect UHG treatment combined with an aseptic filling. Sensitive product and premium product need to be filled in an aseptic condition. To do that, we need an aseptic machine, like our machine, to produce, to sterilize a bottle caps together in the closed place where the aseptic condition is maintained by the an isolator system, an overpressurization system, and filled in the aseptic mode. So if you come to a test center like this, you could try different uh, uh, solutions, different enzymes, different processing uh, steps, so you can uh, really achieve a, a very good uh, drink, uh, ideal for your customer base. So I would highly recommend that you visit the GEA test facilities.